Now, thank you so much, guys, for watching this video, and please welcome back once again to my channel. Please subscribe just in case you are here for the first time, and also don't forget to press the notification bell so that YouTube can automatically update you immediately I post a video here. Otherwise, I really want to appreciate my subscribers because without your support, this channel cannot be where it is currently. So feel very much welcome as you watch and I don't take your support for granted. So yesterday, President William Ruto convened a meeting in State House, which was attended by his Deputy President Rigathi Gashako himself, the Azimio Lomoja Alliance leader, Right Honorable Raila Odinga, the United States delegates or the diplomats who are currently in the country who are sent by the US President Joe Biden himself and some of the religious leaders across the country. And that simply explains as to why yesterday in, during the morning hours, Ray Lodinga did not accompany his Azimio Lomoja Alliance leaders who had attended a certain AIPCA church in Ruiru, Kiambu County and that simply explains as to why President William Ruto had to convene a press briefing uh, at exactly 5 p.m., urging Ray Lodinga to call off his mass actions that he had planned today on Monday, calling him his brother, Right Honorable Ray Lodinga. And one hour later, uh, Ray Lodinga also came to address uh, the nation, calling it off is well-planned mass action that he had planned to conduct today on Monday. So in this video, let me just give you the details of that meeting which was convened by President William Ruto. First of all, they talked about the politics of incitement and especially the religious leaders and the United States delegates or the diplomats were too much against the politics of incitement to the people of the Republic of Kenya at this time. And they pointed fingers personally at, um, at the Deputy President Rigathi Gashagwa, who is too much hurtful uh, with his speech uh, to others. He does not mind other people what they can feel, yet he is the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya and also some of the Azimio Lomoja Alliance allies, including Babu Wino, including uh, uh, Junet Mohammed, uh, Edwin Sifuna and the rest of uh, the, the Azimio Lomoja Alliance allies. So this politics of incitement, they agreed to call it off. So immediately after that meeting, they agreed that whenever President William Ruto has to speak, whenever Ray Lodinga has to talk about something or raise as any issue, or Rigathi Kashako or other Azimio Lomoja Alliance allies has have to talk about a certain issue that are affecting them, they don't have to incite the people of the Republic of Kenya this time. Because first of all, it has costed, or the the, 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 the incitement has costed the lives of some of uh, the people of the Republic of Kenya who went to the mass actions and they were killed. Also, the, the, the police brutality, the police who was murdered uh, in Kisumu County during the mass actions and the businesses that were being destroyed simply because of this uh, politics of incitement whereby they cannot lead a peaceful mass action across the country. So politics of incitement is too much dangerous and they agreed all of them to call it off. Secondly, they talked about uh, Ray Lodinga's demands. Ray Lodinga has been talking about his demands that they, he wants to be, to, to be looked at you know, before he agrees to call off the mass actions across the country, especially on the IEBC issue uh, and the high cost of living. And that is why President William Ruto majorly talked about the IEBC issue. Uh, you know, Raila Odinga was saying that the previous IEBC officials led by the Gerera 4 must be uh, returned back to work which they discussed and they all agreed that that is not going to happen because the process of their removal from office was too much uh, within the law of the Republic of Kenya, within the constitution, and the process was very much legal. So what they agreed to do is that William Ruto will now restructure the IEPC that he had already initiated the process. So 
the the the, the seven member panel which which William Ruto had appointed to go and look at or to appoint the the I, new IABC officials are being disbanded currently and they will have to start afresh and they will include also right honorable Ray Lodinga. So I think Ray Lodinga was sorted out with the his issue during that e meeting and they had to agree on the IEBC issue. That ladies and gentlemen, they had to talk about their mass action across the country. Ray Lodinga's mass action across the country was too much dangerous because we saw what happened. The country is losing billions because of the closure of several businesses across the country in Kisumu County, here in Nairobi County, CBD, whereby uh, people are too much afraid to open their businesses. And you heard what the Deputy President Ritatika Shago said, that Kenyan, uh, Kenya lost around 2 billion Kenya shillings per day. Also, uh, the, the county, the Nairobi County Governor, Honorable Sakaja, was complaining that the Nairobi County did not collect the enough revenues that it has been collecting, which is completely a loss to the country and to different counties here in Kenya. So they agreed that Railroad Inca has to call off the mass action across the country. And if he has to address anything, he will come out public to address the issue without using a lot of force, without using the mass actions, without using inter intimidation, threats, you know, and all manner of force that he's been using uh, to express his views, to express his challenges, to express his opinions. It does not matter at all. And that is why President William Ruto made it very clear during that meeting or immediately after that meeting when he was addressing the press briefing that this time round or this is a time whereby personal interest does not matter at all. Yes, he has a different opinion from the opposition. Uh, they differ with the opposition, but it does not matter who is right and who is wrong. This is now the time whereby Kenya's interest is very, very important than any personal interest. That is why Hello Dinga had to call off that meeting and that is what, or that mass action, and that is why President William Ruto had to give in to Raila Odinga, had to listen to Raila Odinga's demands. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, they had to talk about uh, the handshake and the opposition roles. First of all, President William Ruto made it very clear that the handshake was not going to happen. They also talked about the role of the opposition. Raila Odinga will be the opposition leader and he will oppose what the government is doing, but in a peaceful manner. What William Ruto made it very clear that he does not agree with the previous handshake and the same same handshake is not going to repeat itself again. What William Ruto said is that he want a strong opposition to guide him or to, to, to oppose what he is currently doing because what matters is the people of the Republic of Kenya have to see the opposition on their side, you know, uh, talking about the issues, the challenges that they are currently facing. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, just the last point is that they had to talk about the challenges that are facing the people of the Republic of Kenya. You know, it's currently raining outside and I, I, I just want to try as I wind up uh, to be very much audible enough so that you can listen to me very clearly. So the people of the Republic of Kenya's in challenges, including the high cost of living, um, which has affected several people here in Kenya, the hunger, and the unity also in the people of the Republic of Kenya is too much important. So they discussed on a broad uh, uh, agenda during that meeting. But what was really matter to that meeting is, because, is, the, is the points that I have unleashed to you, ladies and gentlemen. So that was my analysis for today. That was it for today, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think. Let me hear those on the comment section below. What do you think about this meeting convened by President William Ruto? Was it a good move or a bad move? What do you think about William Ruto accepting to listen to Raila Dinga during that meeting and accepting to review the demands that Raila Dinga is currently uh, raising. Is it a good move or a bad move? What can you say about 
reloading are going ahead to call off the mass action across the country today on Monday. Is it a good move or a bad move? Let me hear your opinion on the comment section below. Otherwise, don't forget to press the subscription button. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until next time, my name is Jason. Bye-bye.